every news outlet makes it seem like the end is inevitable for Russian Discord users, because there's news that Russia is going to ban Discord for extremist content. But this news might not be true, because these news outlets are missing something important, because Discord has a bit of a trick up their sleeve. We need to go through the timeline of what's going on. Now, thankfully, we don't have five years of timeline to go through and waste your time on. We're going back a month. Because on September 19th, there was an r slash Discord app post where Discord is currently having issues in Russia and malfunctioning due to partial blocking of the website. Because it turns out Discord has been added to Russia's list of naughty websites. Because Discord has prohibited information on it. Now, this was kind of the warning sign that things are going to escalate. And escalate they did. Because on September 27th, on official Russian news, which has been machine translated, so things might be a little f***y, but on Russian news, it was noted that Discord has been listed in the... Ruskomenzer. In the Ruskomenzer registry, which is basically a massive list of banned websites and apps and services in Russia. Now, at this point, Discord is officially in the registry for doing something bad, and that's where mainstream, more Western media picks it up, where Russia gears up to ban Discord in the coming days. News over here is just clickbaity up the wazoo. The Russian authorities have been on something of a digital crusade. Okay, we're gonna skip all that BS. Basically, Discord is on the chopping block in terms of being banned in Russia, and it turns out the estimated amount of people that use Discord in Russia is between 30 and 40 million users, which accounts for 4% of Discord's traffic. Now, looking at this in terms of Discord's business perspective, losing 30 to 40 million users is a big chunk of your traffic. There's an incentive for Discord to comply with Russian authorities. And if we just step back from the politics and business stuff, uh, 30 to 40 million people not being able to use Discord anymore kind of fucking sucks. But we still don't know why Discord is getting banned in Russia. There's really not much going on, so we need to read some more. But what has happened is that the Russian state media regulator, the Rosm, I said it once correctly, we'll just replay that clip every time. Risk Commons has issued five separate rulings related to Discord since September 20th. So there's five separate instances where Discord has broken Russian regulations, and from what it seems like, these rule breaks will be used as a justification to ban Discord. And that's where things come to a head on October 1st, where we have a Russian news article, which again is machine translated, so things might be a little different. The Risk Commons demanded that Discord remove almost a thousand prohibited materials. The Risk Commonser has contacted the administration of Discord with a demand to remove 947 illegal materials. What are these materials that Russia wants Discord to remove? And this is really going to bring out a whole variety of people in the comments, I'm just going to say. But the materials that the Federal Service demanded to be removed include CSAM content, I think we can all agree. Discord, remove that. Calls for extremism, which we will get to because we actually do figure out what they mean by extremism. Can't say that word on YouTube. It's the life speed run, any percent. LGBT propaganda and pro-drug content. And I just want to say, before I get into things, I am a North American YouTuber. YouTuber. Not political science major. I will completely butcher the nuances of Russian politics. For example, there's a lot of calls to ban Discord because it's used for military instructions, specifically by Ukraine. We all know that one image of Discord being used during Ukraine. I've also seen calls to keep Discord and not ban it because Russia allegedly uses Discord Discord to host and share and distribute drone footage because it's the highest quality. So I guess if you learned one thing today, there's Russian government officials that buy Discord Nitro. But that's just like one aspect of it, which isn't even included in this list. But diving deeper into these 947 illegal materials, what does Russia mean by calls for extremism? Well, there's this Russian news article posted on October 1st, so the exact same day that this previous article came out. So this is all kind of part of the same news story. But they had a, a, a familiar face, not tooting my own horn that I was in Russian news, but in terms of extremist content. On October 1st, Russia's FSB, which is their federal security service, they detained almost four dozen pro-Ukrainian radicals. So there you go, there's already plenty of politics and nuances just in that sentence and how it's framed. But these four dozen people were inciting children and teenagers to violence, and they have been detained in different Russian regions. And again, this was reported on October 1st by the FSB, and what they found in these people's houses were weapons, ammunition, components for making homemade Minecraft TNT, and some symbols of terrorist organizations that were confiscated. And according to the FSB, these people that were detained all received instructions from Kiev through the Discord Messenger. So we have the political conflict going on. That's one big aspect of why Discord is getting banned, but the second, and in my opinion, I think the primary reason why Discord is getting banned in Russia is specifically for LGBT propaganda. Now, if you don't know, the Supreme Court of Russia has recognized the activities of the international LGBT public movement as extremist, and they banned it. Now, you would assume that 
LGBT propaganda is like talking about same-sex marriage and all this stuff, but it actually goes a lot deeper because Russia bans a lot. There's a Wikipedia article about it, which is fun to go through because they banned like LinkedIn and stuff. But just to show you how big of a reach this LGBT propaganda meaning has, there's a tweet where Russia is considering banning Apex Legends and other video games, which Russia says includes LGBT propaganda. But this should help me explain what Russia means by LGBT propaganda. Like, how strict are they in terms of labeling something as propaganda? Well, for example, you have Life is Strange, which I'm pretty sure there's a lesbian relationship in there. That's part of their propaganda. You have Sims 3, where in the game you can make a same-sex relationship, so that's what they also consider as propaganda, if you even have the ability to do any sort of LGBTQ stuff. But then Apex Legends is considered LGBT propaganda? And apparently the reason why is because one of the characters is, according to the lore, is non-binary, and another character is in a same-sex relationship. I'm just gonna say, if they're digging into the lore to find LGBT propaganda, then I think the word LGBT propaganda is very far-reaching. It's a very encompassing rule. And considering on Discord the amount of femboys I see, I'm pretty sure that is also factored into LGBT propaganda according to Russia. Which then brings me back to the point that I want to make. In terms of the 947 illegal materials that Russia found, we don't have hard numbers for each category of things that broke Russia's rules. So we don't know if all 947 were CSAM contents or if most of them were LGBT propaganda. Now, with my understanding of Discord in the way that I see it, I personally think that a lot of the 947 illegal materials fall under LGBT propaganda because according to Discord's terms of service, you are not allowed to have this sort of content. You're not allowed to have any extremism. Usually you're not allowed to talk about this. And in terms of pro-drug content, it's a gray area on Discord. But generally speaking, out of all these topics except LGBT propaganda, if Russia reported it, Discord would just take it down. And if Discord takes it down, then there's no problem with Russia and there wouldn't be a ban. But considering things are progressing, I, I'm making the assumption that a lot of the illegal materials, according to Russia, falls under LGBT propaganda. As we continue reading, we get a little bit more details of what's going on. On September 30th, Moscow's court fined the Discord messenger 3.5 million rubles for failure to fulfill its obligations as the owner of the social network. And as the Telegram channel MASH clarifies, Discord refused to remove prohibited information about LGBT and creeps on Discord. Now, when it comes to creeps on Discord, that's a problem I talked about before. It basically sums up to there's not enough trust and safety employees at Discord going through reports because Discord doesn't want to hire anybody because they want to make money and become profitable. But when it comes to LGBT information that Discord refused to remove, you might be asking the question, is Discord going to delete the LGBT content? No. Not a chance. And the reason why I say no is if you go on Discord's job page, you'll see that if you scroll through, there's a lot of diverse people. But when you get down to the very bottom, Discord specifically points out that they have their own Pride Employee Resource Group that is a safe haven for the LGBTQIA2S plus community and its allies. If Discord removed LGBT content, there would be people at Discord, working at Discord, that would leave because of that action. So that's one bad thing Discord has going for it, but it just keeps getting worse. Because when you're on Discord, you see a lot of femboys, people in the LGBT community. And if Discord removed those communities, those people would leave Discord. So again, now you have more people going away from Discord, which means less money for Discord to make off Discord Nitro. It doesn't make sense business-wise either. And finally, when it comes to general PR of your brand and media in general, when Discord makes a Pride Month post every single year supporting Pride Month and LGBT, if Discord posts stuff like this and then they delete LGBT content because Russia told them to, <laughs> Genuinely, this would be like Discord shooting themselves in the foot and just completely annihilating their public perception. So using that common sense, Discord's gonna get banned. And that's why every news article is doom and gloom. But I am the Discord nerd and I know way too much about Discord. And these news articles are missing something that's really important because there's a good chance that Discord isn't going to be banned in Russia, assuming Russia is reasonable and accepts the feature that Discord has been working on. Because there's a Discord server called Discord Pre Previous, which looks at experimental and in-development Discord features. It's kind of like a, a place where you find Discord leaks. And back in January 8th of 2024, they showed off this feature, where there's a Discord server that has a little bit of an exclamation mark, and when you try clicking on the Discord server, it turns out you get this pop-up saying, server unavailable. This server is not available in your region. It turns out, at the start of the year, Discord has been working a little bit on their own region locking or geo-blocking system, and there was an r slash Discord app post talking about it, and it turns out what this was first originally used for was back
back in 2022 for the official NBC Olympics Discord server due to NBC's legal broadcasting rights. But if this feature was used back in 2022, why did it get updated at the start of this year? Well, only three months after this was data mined, there was a tweet by Big Nutty, a very knowledgeable Discord fella, who pointed out that Discord is using their recently updated geo restriction server feature for a Russian femboy server due to legal obligations. Now, we can see from the images, that looks like a femboy. That looks like Russian. And you can see it has the exclamation mark, and if you try clicking on the server, it says server unavailable. It is not available in your region. So this feature has been used by Russia before to block things that they don't like, and I really hope that Discord manages to convince Russia to continue using this, because in the grand scheme of things, would you rather have Discord completely banned in Russia, screwing over 30 to 40 million users, or would you rather have a couple of Discord servers be unavailable, which you can just turn on a VPN and access anyways. <sighs> So I guess it turns out I was a little too optimistic and a little too uninformed on Russian politics because I was sent this news article that was just released today where the Ruskomnanzor announced restrictions on access to Discord. The Ruskomnanzor announced that access to Discord was being restricted. The agency explained that this decision was due to a violation of Russian legislation. In particular, Ruskomnanzor said that it had repeatedly demanded that Discord remove prohibited content, but some of these materials were never removed. The Ruskomnanzor added that compliance with such requirements is necessary to prevent the use of the messenger for terrorist and extremist purposes, recruitment of citizens to commit them, sales of drugs, in connection with the posting of illegal information. Now again, they didn't just straight up say that they banned LGBT content, but it's definitely uh, inferred under illegal information. And for the 30 to 40 million Russian Discord users, the way that they figured out that Discord was banned in Russia is they literally just woke up and they noticed that Discord was down for everyone in Russia, and then a couple hours later there's an official news posting saying that Discord has been banned. But ladies and gentlemen, we have another update. Every single day there's an update about the situation, but if you go to discordstatus.com, Discord says that they are investigating and are aware of reports of Discord being unreachable in Russia and Turkey. Turkey just banned Discord, and I will be talking about this, but it's going to take one to two weeks for me to make a video because it's, it's complex, to put it lightly. But Discord says that their team is working on investigating these reports at this time, so things seemed pretty optimistic. And I want to give a big thing Thank you to Never Cook First for keeping me up to date on this whole entire Russia Discord ban situation because it turns out there's a news posting saying that the state Duma, Duma Balzic, is ready to bring back Discord, but under certain conditions. And one of the deputies said that Discord will be unblocked if it removes illegal materials. So there's a potential for Discord to be unblocked. Discord is saying uh, we're investigating these reports. And well, on October 10th, we got, I think, our final update regarding this situation. The Rus Commoner sees no reason to unblock the Discord Messenger. The service is blocked on the territory of the Russian Federation. There are no grounds for unblocking the service. It's pretty clear that I don't think uh, Russia's gonna unblock Discord, but I do want to point out that if things do change, or if you are someone in Russia and you want to figure out how to bypass this countrywide block, then I'd highly recommend you look at the Telegram channel Discord Insider. It is a Russian-based Telegram channel talking about Discord, and since this directly affects them, they're going to be way more up to date than I will be. And also, if there's a way to actually bypass Russia's filter, because I'm not in Russia, I have no experience bypassing a countrywide block. But if there's any information on how to do that, it most likely will be posted in this Telegram channel. So when they tried to come up with a solution of doing this geo-blocking feature, which should have satisfied what Russia wanted, even with this feature being implemented and being used once, and maybe a couple other times that haven't been documented, despite all of this, the ban still occurred. And given how complex politics and all this stuff is, I'm not sure if Discord could have done anything better to actually prevent this from happening. But anyways, gamers, hopefully this ban gets undone. I wouldn't have your hopes up though, and I'd probably look into figuring out a VPN or a way to bypass this restriction if you are Russian and you do want to access Discord. That's all I got. Bye-bye. I love you. Mwah.